All right, this is going way back, uh, like 1990, I believe it was. I had a guy bring a bike in the shop there. I was working at a dealer. And uh, brings it in for an engine noise, supposedly. But it was at a very specific RPM that it did it. He claimed it would only make this noise on a steady throttle going up a slight incline at between 2,600 and 2,900 RPM. And, you know, I'm a young guy back then. I take the bike out and ride it. I can't get it to duplicate the noise. And rode it, rode it, rode it. And I finally got to where I could hear this little noise, very slight, almost like a, almost like a spark knock kind of thing. Very light, so, you know, verified the timing was right on, ended up retarding the timing a couple, couple degrees. And I asked the guy if he's running high test fuel. And it, yeah, he's running high test fuel, all that. So and it's an older guy that owns the bike. So start looking into it, and, you know, it's bike still under warranty. <clears throat> all up Harley about it and they're like check this check that check the other thing so I'm going through I check you know a few things that were off on it where the game gear fitment was wasn't quite where it needed to be and usually you're not going to hear that at 2600 you're going to hear, hear that sitting there idling or under a lower rpm kind of ticky tick noise so I correct that change the uh pinion gear out to a slightly bigger pinion gear to get it to fit slightly better and went through on the, on the phone with Harley about this guy this guy's bike and they're telling me to do you know check the check the rocker arm bushings so I pull pull the top end off pull the rocker arms out they were slightly out. I mean, not out a lot. They were at the higher end of the spec. So ended up putting rocker arm bushings in there. Just get a little bit tighter clearance on them. Use the hone, son and hone to actually hone them instead of just depending on the reamer to fit them to size. So got them exactly where they needed to be. Did all that. Put it back together. Still got this noise at, you know, 2,600 to 2,900 RPM. Like I said, barely slight. You had to be going up the right grade of hill at the right, right throttle load or it would do it. <clears throat> so get down to it. And what actually happened, and this is how I found out about these, these pistons actually reforging themselves is the noise ended up being a piston slap. So it'd have a little oval right here. This is before they coated the piston so you could really see it better. But have a little oval right across right across this area here. And may, pull, pull the cylinders off, measure the cylinders. And they were, you know, bore supposed to be 3.498 and it was like 3.495 down here at the spigot. So it was tight. You know, piston wouldn't even go in there like that. Well, it would because it was already reforged itself. So I ended up getting it out with a 5,000 over piston and put it back together. And I think that was the quietest Evo I'd ever heard in my life. Been through the lifters on it, been through, you know, lifters were all good, cam, cam gear was fine, cam bearings were great. Uh, cam bushing was fine as far as clearance goes. E everything was good on this motor engine, excuse me. And it ended up being slight piston slap because these pistons, when they reforge themselves, if you think about it, they get smaller. So when it gets up into the middle here, it's going to slap a little bit more far as the little bit of piston slap in there and it's meaning it'd be just like if the cylinder was oversized slightly because the piston's smaller than, than, it's, than it's supposed to be 
Another thing, too, on these pistons, when you get them, these stock pistons, of course, you can't see it on this one. It's all carbon up. But there will be a, a little stamp on top there that says SP4 or SP6. Now, what that is, the majority of these pistons, SP4 means that's the standard size. And I guess sometimes when they somebody screwed up on the owning the cylinders or whatever, they'd be slightly oversized. So you have to get like an SP6 piston, or they'd fit an SP6, which you can't actually buy. They have them at the factory, and they're slight, slightly bigger than the standard bore size. When I say slightly bigger, I mean like two ten thousandths, three ten thousandths, whatever. Slightly bigger. Anyway, that's it on the, the reforged pistons, what I call them. These, are, these factory pistons are... Uh, these are actually Carl Schmidt piston, which was, I think Carl Schmidt had a factory there in Wisconsin. First year they came out with the Evo, they were using Molly pistons out of Germany. But they found that Carl Schmidt could make the exact same piston, which is a uh, higher silicon content than, uh, than a regular cast piston, just like a hyper eutectic piston. That's how you say it. Use a little bit different piston. Now, as far as when when you're honing these things, trying to get them straight, uh, I forget what the factory says. It's like they want them straight within one thousandths or whatever. And if you do your honing right, even with a handheld bridge hone, you can get them. Uh, back at the old shop, we had. A quick way 092 power home, which you still have to vary by yourself as far as <clears throat> as far as the up and down speeds, and they didn't, you know, as far as sticking the stones out so far. It's not like stuff they got now where it automatically does it. You still have to manually adjust the wheel to get the tension right for the stones. Always shot shot for like two ten thousandths, which is. Pretty damn close. Two ten thousandths out around the taper. So when you'd stick your dial bore gauge in there, you'd have to say zero. Of course, you want zeros all the way down, but that's you're never really going to get that. So two ten thousandths is good. Actually, two ten thousandths is great. You know, I, I remember buying cylinders from like S and S. You need brand new cylinders, and Putting them in torque plates and sticking the dial board gauge in there, and you know, you're eight, ten thousandths out around, almost one, one thousandths out around out of brand new cylinders. There, there's no call for that. They, they should be close to zero as possible. Anyway, that's all I got for that. Uh, you guys have a great weekend coming up here. It's Thursday now, and uh, lights about driving me crazy. Motion detector light. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. You guys take care.